Hi, I'm Sue, one of the brand ambassadors at Look Fabulous Forever. I'm 65 years old. I've had a, several ladies who don't normally wear makeup or wear very little makeup and they're in their 60s, 70s and beyond ask me if it's too late to start and I always say absolutely not, it's never too late to start. So I'd like to share with you just a very simple easy makeup routine to get you started. First of all I'm going to apply foundation. This is continuous cover foundation in shade 02 and all you need is just a couple of pumps. Now if you haven't got um, a foundation brush it doesn't matter you can apply it with your fingers. It goes on really easily and does help cover those little imperfections just make sure you rub under your your jawline so you don't get a big tide mark and it all blends in and for this side of my face I'll do it using a brush and this is the latest brush number 10 and it's lovely and it does get in all the little nooks and crannies on your face without using too much foundation as well it's lovely but as I say, if you haven't got a brush to start off with, using your fingers is fine. Next, eyeshadow. And I'm going to use an eyeshadow trio in soft purples. And this is from the neutral range, so it's something that would suit everybody. And I'm going to start by using the lightest colour on my lid. And next I'm going to use the middle colour. And that's the beauty of these eyeshadow trios. You know that the colours will all blend together beautifully. I'm just going to start above my lid and just take it a little bit higher because my eyes are hooded. And then take a soft brush and just gently go over it so it just blends in together with that harsh line. Mascara. Now, for those ladies that aren't used to wearing mascara and maybe the thought of using black mascara puts you off, I would suggest that you use navy blue because although it doesn't look like blue on your eyelashes, it's a lovely mascara which maybe it's just a little bit more gentle than using black and especially as I say if you're not used to wearing mascara you might find this one easy to into it although personally I love black mascara just gently on the bottom lashes now this navy one that I'm using it isn't um, it isn't a waterproof one but I have to say I don't have a problem with it smudging anyway. I still think it performs really, really well. In fact, I didn't realise it wasn't waterproof until I read the box the other day when my new one came. Eyeliner. Now usually I would take a wedge brush and take the darkest colour there and draw my line on. But if you're not used to wearing eyeliner, easy way is the soft eyeliner pencils. They're so easy to use, they're retractable and they're so soft they go on really easily. So start at the corner of your eye, just very gently take it just to the middle of your eye. Don't go all the way across because it can make your eyes look smaller and also it, it can be a, a little bit aging if you take your eyeliner all the way across as it's a little bit dated now and just suppose you say you put too much eyeliner on don't panic you don't need to take all your eyeshadow off just take a cotton bud and then just gently go along 
and you can fix it easily without disturbing your eyeshadow. Next blush up. I'm going to use Rosy Glow and just take your finger, centre of your eye, go down, top of your cheek, put a little dot there, and then put some blush up along there. And the blusher is um, a cream to powder, so it blends really easily and it's lovely because in the past I have found um, certain other brands have, um, well, they look rather painted on and, you know, clown-like some of the darker colours as well because they sit on the surface. But this is a lovely cream to powder for formula, so it, it's very easy to use. You can use your fingers or take a blusher brush and the way I always remember it is up, down and round. So start from there and brush it upwards. Then some strokes downwards so you don't get a harsh line. And then in the fattest part of your cheek here, round, just so it blends it in. Up, down and round. And then finally, lipstick, and I'm going to use Soft Plum. And anybody who's not used to wearing lipstick, I would suggest you do what I did when I, I've always worn lipstick, but I was always frightened of wearing really vibrant ones. So when I started to use Fuchsia, I just put fuchsia on every day and while I was at home, every time I passed a mirror, I made sure I looked at myself because I think a lot of it is getting used to seeing you as someone wearing lipstick. And by day three or four, I was passing the mirror and going, fabulous. But then maybe that's just me. There. It only takes a few minutes. I hope that's helped. Please press like or why not join Look Fabulous Forever's YouTube channel. It's free and it's full of makeup demonstrations and tips.